can we finally consider them legit? What's it going to take? On a uh, Wednesday, April 18th, two minutes in front of seven o'clock. This just very well may be a two minute shift. So if you got a question, be sure to throw it in the comments below right away. If you're watching, thumbs up on the video, hit that share button, spread the word, spread the love on the Hockey Talk Show. If you guys are not liking the posts right away, as soon as you start watching, if you're not sharing it, you're not helping grow the Hockey Talk Show. And growth is what we're all about. By the way, so many shares yesterday. Our Garth Snow video, well over 1,200 views to date. Not bad. All because of you guys. So thank you for hitting share and like and everything else. Aaron, can Las Vegas win a cup? Yes. Yes, they can. The Las Vegas Golden Knights are as legitimate as a franchise as we have in the National Hockey League. Are they as likely to win as Nashville, Pittsburgh, Tampa? I might put them fourth on that list. Winnipeg, Vegas, four, five, in all likelihood of who would be winning. But they can absolutely, no doubt in my mind, win a Stanley Cup. What do I mean by this? Ant's delusional. He just wants to be right. He just wants to say crazy things. Blah, blah, blah. Let's say Vegas goes. I pick Nashville to beat Vegas in the Western Conference Final. Let's say Pecorine goes down with an injury. Now who are you picking? Healthy? I don't think there's a way that Nashville can lose to the Vegas Golden Knights in the Western Conference Finals. 92 goes down, right? 76 goes down. Now we're playing a different game, and we all know that's how it works in the National Hockey League. So can Las Vegas win a cup? Yes. There are... Most people in the media, I would say 95% of the media right now that will not be and never will be convinced that Vegas is a legitimate franchise until Marc-Andre Fleury is standing there like this. And this isn't the Conn Smythe over his head. And it baffles me. It baffles me. I went on a search today to see who in the media is picking Vegas and again, I'm low man on the totem pole. I feel like I'm the only one. I picked Vegas to beat the Kings. I can tell you some of the remarks that I saw on this channel, both on Facebook and YouTube, and to those people who called me an idiot or a loser or this or that, now what? Now what? Because I didn't think they were going to be this good, but I knew they were going to be good. I didn't think they would be this good in this season. Gerard Gallant said, I didn't think we'd be this good, but I knew we'd be good. So they are so far, far exceeding their own expectations. Danny's got the best interesting question so far on Facebook. Thoughts on the Sharks? I have them in the finals. I like the Sharks. I like the Sharks a lot. I have the Sharks beating uh, Anaheim. That was also my pick. In our uh, little bracket challenge that we did, you can go back and watch uh, some of the shows from uh, a couple of days ago when we selected all of our uh, bracket challenges. I had uh, Anaheim losing uh, to San Jose. I don't even remember how many games. Uh, there you go. Danny picked Vegas in six. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and I, w and I w again, it's not going to be an overwhelmingly long show today, but. Um, just to boil it down, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit here with a couple of the points, but Vegas and San Jose in the next round will be super interesting because I really like the San Jose Sharks. I thought they would win easily over Anaheim, and it looks like they're going to. I don't want to jump too far ahead of myself, but I just don't see how Anaheim comes back in this series. Just like I'm not sure that Minnesota can really come back and battle back against Winnipeg in their series. There's just too many injuries now. 20's out, 11's out. It's just too much. 
Um, but you look towards the next round, and I would have picked San Jose over the Kings if the Kings had made it. But I picked Vegas, and I picked San Jose. And when you look at the season series, I know it's a different boat, but season series, Vegas did not lose to the San Jose Sharks in regulation. I think they were 3-0-1, oh, if I'm not mistaken. 3-0-1. Oh, they owned the San Jose Sharks. Now, regular season, different than playoffs. Can't argue with that. San Jose Sharks pre-Evander Kane, different than San Jose Sharks post-Evander Kane. Can't argue with that. So it's going to be a little bit of a different uh, thing here. But keep in mind, although San Jose is better, um, Vegas, I think, did beat them at the end of the season, which is important when they had Kane, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and also, think about the confidence that the Vegas Golden Knights are going to have. Also, think about this. We are a few days away, at least four or five, till that series can even start up. I'm not even looking at anything, but just, just judging off the top of my head, I mean, at least. Right? When does... Uh, well, San Jose can wrap tonight. What's today? Wednesday? Thursday? Friday? Maybe Saturday or Sunday the next round would start. I can't remember if the National Hockey League holds all the next rounds until everything is complete or if they just start... Ro I, I, would, I think they're going to hold. Anyway, the point is this. Vegas is time to rest. Get healthy. And by the way, they are super not even injured. I mean, nothing. A couple little dings here or there, but nothing. They're not even talking about... like They're not even masking injuries. They're just like, we're healthy as a horse. Mr. Ed type, a horse that talks, not even like a regular horse. Uh, Eddie, if the NHL grants a team to Seattle, what Western Conference team goes to the East? The Nashville, perhaps? Uh, yeah. I think the Preds would actually go East. That tends to make uh, the most sense, I think. Um, you could... Uh, I just think it makes the most sense to move Nashville over. They're just so close to Carolina. Or, yeah. Yeah. Nashville. For sure, Nashville moves. Uh, NHL has been throwing Vegas down our throats all year. A little Vegas fatigue plays into the picture. Personally, I'm Vegas out. I... Have they really been, though? I mean, I don't know. I, I haven't really gotten that. I, I honestly think that everybody has been downplaying how good Vegas really is. That's why I've been talking about it. That's why I've been talking about how good Vegas is. They're just so friggin' fast. Oh, and then here's the other criticism I heard today. Ve Vegas swept a series, and they only scored seven goals. The goals in this series were seven to three. Assholes. They keep the how why how do they win when they don't they keep the puck all the time? Watch Vegas. People aren't watching Vegas. Watch Vegas. Watch how many times the puck is not on a Vegas stick. By the way, I'm not calling you guys ass. I'm calling the, the detractors assholes. Watch how many times they they cut the puck is on their stick all the time. All the time. All the time. Time of possession for Vegas is unbelievable. You want to know why the Kings couldn't score? You want to know why it only took seven goals? They keep the puck all the time, number 29 in the net. That's it. You don't need to score 15, 20 goals. Well, that, that was the best part of the criticism today. Look at this Vegas. They only scored seven goals in this series. I've never seen detractors more because old school Hockey people feel like you need to build a team for seven years through the draft in order to be successful. No. You need a good general manager, a great coach, and you need to know what's going on in the game right now. And what's happening in the game right now is speed and puck possession and offense. And not for nothing, but Jonathan Quick was downright outstanding. So I'm not surprised. Because Quick was unbelievable, and Flory was just a smidge better. That's it. That is it. Here's my man, Phila Forever. Phila? Phila? Philly? Yeah. 
That guy. Quick played lights out. Better have quick leg performances to compete with Vegas. You, you're damn right. You're damn right. Um, and as much as I love Martin Jones, and he's been great so far in this series, if I have my choice between Jones and Flory, give me give me Flory. Pecorine, hella buck is different. Right now, in that foursome of Nashville, Winnipeg, Vegas and San Jose, let's say my second round comes to fruition. Uh, San Jose, although great, has the worst goaltender in that mix of those four teams. Uh, Aaron, Vegas will win a cup soon. I think they'll do really well. Again, I have them going to the conference finals this year and losing to Nashville just because Nashville is just so solidly built. Um, and they are actually rather fast, uh, too. So, um, I just, uh, as much as I love Vegas, I, I just, I can't see them getting to the Stanley Cup Finals past Nashville. I just can't see it. I think they would even have a bit of trouble with Winnipeg, were Winnipeg to upset Nashville. It upset them in my bracket. But um, Vegas holds on to the puck. They're super fat. They're what the league is right now. And that's what a lot of other franchises struggle with. Uh, I have Boston Vegas in the cup final. I wouldn't be surprised if Vegas goes all the way. I really honestly wouldn't. Um, and Aaron, to go back to your point, Vegas will win a cup soon. I, I worry about a sophomore slump from this franchise. I really do. I think there is definitely such a thing as fatigue. And I think that if they were to do well this year, go to the conference finals, even the cup final, I think, and I would not be surprised if they showed a little struggle off the bat next year. Most teams that do go deep struggle at the beginning of the next season. It's just a hard letdown. Um, Sharon, don't say what you're saying. I have money on San Jose. I hear you. I don't want to be a jinx, Sharon. My apologies. I love hockey fans and hockey, uh, but I love gambling even more, so I totally understand the jinx. Um... Vegas swept the Kings. How people criticize them still is absolutely at the, it, still absolute domination. They did dominate. They dominated. Like forget the expansion thing. Just forget it. It's inconsequential. They built this team really, really well. They added Thomas Tatar at the deadline. Like they they knew the mix. They knew the mix. McPhee knew what time it was, and Gerard Gallant was the right coach. Like none of this was an accident. None of it. Uh, next two to three years, Vegas wins the cup. That I could see. That I can see. They're serious contenders. If they draft well, and if they, the problem is, is they're not going to have high draft picks if they keep finishing so well. So they got to be wise with their drafting and their scouting staff and uh, their um, their uh, free agent signings. Uh, any news on Tavares? None. Uh, there's nothing new to report on the uh, Islanders thing. Uh, in fact, that's why I believe this will be a pretty quick show. It was actually pretty quiet all around in the National Hockey League today. Um, Eddie thinks that Vegas is going to lose to Winnipeg. Can't argue with it. I don't, and that's not my pick, but I can't argue with it. Uh, Press will stand Vegas up at the red line for sure. Press Penguins final part two. Preds mean, oh, Preds will stand Vegas up at the red line. The Preds are so good. I mean, is there a better defensive team? I mean, really. Look at that blue line. It's super good. It's super good. I'd say the next best blue line is Tampa, honestly. Honestly, that that's that's it for me. Uh, if you guys want to see my uh, picks once again, uh, bring it up for you really quickly here. Uh, there it is. Those are my picks. That's my uh, bracket situation. And uh, I'm doing pretty good. And Caps got me worried, and I knew I could be wrong about that one. And I also said I could be wrong about uh, Boston and Toronto. But I went for the upset, fully accepting whatever my fate will be with that one. Um, I still think that Toronto has what it takes to beat Boston. I just don't know if they can muster it up. So we'll have to wait and see. Really have to wait and see. But again, Vegas... Vegas, Vegas, totally legit. First franchise in the history of the National Hockey League to sweep a playoff series in their first year. I mean, show 
some friggin' respect already for this team. They have just been lights out and deserving of far more praise than anybody in the media is willing to give them. They are acting like they are the Columbus Blue Jackets, Minnesota Wild of 18 years ago, and it's just not the case. And by the way, Vegas managed to win a playoff series before the Columbus Blue Jackets did. And they came, what, 18, 19 years later? So just putting that out there. No slam against Columbus Blue Jackets fans. I don't want to answer angry emails. I get enough of those on a daily basis. But let's be honest. Vegas won a playoff series before the Columbus Blue Jackets. Is what it is. And I wish everybody would wake up to just how good this team is. It's not a fluke. It's not, you know, the league changed the rules, or blah, 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 bull. They just are flat out good. Eddie's predicting the Leafs will forfeit tomorrow night's game. <laughs> I guess it's possible. Where is Mike Keenan these days? Hopefully interviewing with the New York Islanders. Um, let's get to two. Oh, uh, all right. So a couple of uh, bits of news here for tonight. Patrick Hornquist out for the Penguins in game four. Sean Couturier out for the Flyers. So those two injuries uh, kind of cancel each other out, I guess. Um, what else? There's really, honestly, there's not a lot tonight. Hope he's going to go for game four. Let's look ahead to this evening. Pittsburgh, Philly already underway. Um, I think that uh, Pittsburgh comes out, takes a 3-1 series lead here. I think Tampa calms themselves down and takes a lead against uh, New Jersey. I think that the most interesting game three for this evening is Nashville and Colorado. Because although I have Nashville going to the conference finals and I'm not straying my pick, I do think that Colorado has what it takes to really drag this series out. Six games, maybe even seven. They really fed off their home crowd and you have got to shut down Nathan McKinnon. That is the thing. You have got to shut down Nathan McKinnon. Got to. Got to do it. Um, I'm going to pick Nashville because I like him in the series, but I would not be surprised if we're sitting here tomorrow talking about a Colorado win. Give me San Jose. It'll be the second sweep of uh, the playoffs this year. I just don't see how Anaheim is back in it. Anaheim's totally off their game. Uh, Corey Perry is a shell of his former self. I don't know what happened to that cat. I think he's got a lot more talent and ability than he's showing this playoff series. Um, it's just a, a little sad for me where, where Corey Perry is uh, in his uh, careers right now in the playoffs and um, uh, San Jose all the way, I think. And, and by the way, I think San Jose Vegas will be a, a thoroughly entertaining series. But again, Jumbo Joe, right? Um, I like San Jose. I'm trying to think of who else. I just don't, I mean, they got some speed. Burns is quick. Pavelski's pretty quick. They got some speed, but they just don't have Vegas speed. That's the thing. Danny, people think Vegas doesn't have experience, but they have the perfect mix of veterans and speed. It's an excellent point, and it's a point that I've been making since the beginning of the Hockey Talk Show. They have all the playoff experience they need. Neil, Flory, you know what I'm saying? I mean, McPhee. Uh, you know, you just go up and down that lineup. McNabb, who was the hero last night, they just, they have the experience and they didn't need a whole season to band together. That happened right away off of the Vegas tragedy at the beginning of the season. So, you know, um, it's just uh, a process that's been completed already by Vegas. They're together. They're a team. Uh, John, hypothetically, Tavares sign and trade. Who and what do you want? Can't even answer that because it just, it's never going to happen. It's just never going to happen. Uh, I mean, I could sit here and dream up a scenario, but there is, there is no situation where that actually does happen because Tavares would have to flat out say, no, I'm not coming back. And I don't think he gives the Islanders a no before that five day window before July 1st. They have a five-day window to talk to other teams and gauge interest. And until he knows what the other offers are, why would he say no to the Islanders? He's been very vocal about being open to a return. Extremely vocal. So why would he say, why would he say 
I'm not coming back. You might as well trade me. It just would never happen. It could happen in that five-day window that he gets so blown away by an offer that he turns around and says to the Islanders, gee, I would really love that extra year. Can you sign and trade me? Um, but I just don't see that really happening in a five-day period. I, I just don't. I just really, really don't. And anything that he gets uh, outside, the Islanders are going to turn around and say, we'll match. They're just, why wouldn't they? If he finds somebody to offer him $13 million, the Islanders will say, what do you, what do you want? We'll match it. So I, again, I just don't see that scenario whatsoever. I really, really don't. Um, Vincent, I believe the Vegas offense will almost be too much for the Sharks defense. Legit. Totally legit. Um, I like Brent Burns, obviously. Who doesn't? Groundbreaking uh, commentary there, Ant. Uh, really, honestly. 27 million time all-star. I'm really going out on the limb there for you. Um, I like Brent Burns, but uh, let me see. I mean, I, I mean, they got they got a good defense. I like Justin Braun. I like Brendan Dillon. Uh, Paul Martin will get burned beyond belief. Just no speed to the guy. Uh, Mark Edward Vlasic, I like. Again, not a bad player, but to Vincent's point, speed of Vegas just going to be too much to handle. Like I love Joel Ward. I, I like I love Joel Ward. Joel Ward's going to get beat. You know, he's just. He's just going to get beat. Joe Thornton is going to get beat. Logan Couture is fast, but not Vegas fast. They just, the team speed is too much. Eric Fair is okay. You know, uh, Tomas Hurdle's got some speed to him. Kane's no slouch, but they're not as fast as Vegas, and Vegas keeps the puck. Again, 3-0-1 in the season series. So take that as you will. Take that as you will. Pittsburgh just scored. 7.19 p.m. in the uh, East here on uh, Wednesday, April 19th, and uh, Pittsburgh is up one nothing. I just see Pittsburgh taking this one tonight, taking a three-game series back to Pitt. Just see it happening. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Belmont deal 100%. Been hearing things as far as public hearings causing some issues. You don't have to worry about Belmont. Belmont's a done deal. Nothing is getting in the way of Belmont. The governor's behind it. Big business is behind it. There's there's not a community leader in the world that can stop Belmont from happening. It's just, it's going to go down. There's just, there's no stopping the Belmont deal. Um, it's the Islanders rink. It's bigger than the Islanders. There's a lot of events, jobs, tax revenue, concerts, monster truck shows, you name it. Um, Belmont's going to happen. You got nothing to worry about as far as that goes, John. Don't worry a thing about that. Uh, they even proposed, we didn't even touch on it here because just there's just so much other stuff going on uh, hockey wise and playoff wise, but there was a proposal to put a uh, 17,000 seat arena all the way out East uh, on Long Island, actually literally 20 minutes from where we're broadcasting from right now. And um, I think, although that still may happen, uh, there's no way they're going to get a tenant from the national hockey league uh, or the NBA. So that's not even going to impact the Belmont deal. So don't worry about that. Belmont deal is happening. All right, uh, I'm going to leave you there. Gave you the picks. Very quick show tonight. Just a quiet night. We'll regroup tomorrow night. Could be talking about San Jose, Vegas, and previewing that a little bit more with a sweep. Uh, really, really going to dig down and get interested in this Nashville, Colorado series. I really want to see how they play tonight. Uh, I'm interested in Tampa and New Jersey second, and the least interesting one to me is Pittsburgh and Philly because I think Pittsburgh got that one. Vince, go Pens. They take uh, the next two games, beating the Caps in round two. Should be sweet. Um, I really think the Penguins have a strong chance at three-peating. I really do. I picked Tampa to beat them because I felt like they'd run out of gas, and I just love the Tampa defense. They're so complete. They should be really fresh. Um, they're, they're healthy again, you know, Stamkos and they just look great all around. I just, I just, at the end of the day, thought Pittsburgh would run out of a little steam and lose to Tampa. But if Pittsburgh went back to the finals, beat Tampa and it was Pittsburgh, Nashville again, would anybody be surprised? This is Pittsburgh and Detroit all over again from a few years ago. You know, the only difference is Marion hosted it and switched teams. All right. Uh, thanks for the love, Vince. 
Uh, Eddie, always appreciate it, man. Hit those share buttons. Hit the thumbs up. It makes a difference. I'm telling you, it makes a difference with the algorithms on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, again, I can't say this enough. For those of you that are on the podcast, I appreciate you guys downloading it every day. But we're getting downloads numbers up here and reviewed numbers are all the way down here. It's ridiculously disproportioned. And that that hurts us because when people go and search hockey on um, you know iTunes, if there's not a ton of reviews behind it, it doesn't work. So even if you're watching on YouTube and Facebook, if you got two minutes, you could even do it while you're on the toilet bowl and you're on your phone. I know you are. Don't. It's 2018. Uh, drop on over to uh, the iTunes page and uh, drop a quick review. Could be seven words. I don't even care. As long as it's there and you give it a good rating, we'll be good to go. Uh, go Flyers says Eddie. Let's go Lightning says Kale. Should be good. Should be good. We'll see what happens. I'll see you guys on the next shift. Enjoy the night of hockey tonight. It's been some good playoffs so far. We've been extraordinarily lucky. Uh, can't wait to see you guys.